demonstrate how to teach the saltwater density lesson. The purpose of this lesson is to demonstrate the concept of density and to share some information about the salinity of the oceans through various experiments. So first, you'll start off with an introduction with some basic information about saltwater. So first, you can introduce the lesson by saying that oceans and, oceans and seas contain considerably more salt than um, freshwater sources, such as lakes. And a fun fact is that if you took all the salt from all of the Earth's seas, you'd form a layer of salt that's over 50 feet thick, which is about 40 stories high, which the kids' minds will be blown by. And a question that you can ask in the beginning is why, um, why the oceans contain so much salt, but lakes, streams, and rivers don't. So some answers that you should be looking for are that um, erosion causes the layer of dirt on the Earth's crust to erode and the salt to stream gradually into the seas. Okay, so next you'll introduce the concept of salinity, which is the total salt content of the ocean. Tell the students to look at their handouts and check out this salinity map that we have here. So tell them to look at the key on the bottom and based on that, point out the saltiest area of the, of the world, which should be this little red area here, which is the Dead Sea, or the P Persian Gulf. So now we'll introduce the concept of density, which is a property of liquid, solids, and gases. But today you can tell the kids that we're, we'll be exploring density in liquids. So once you divide all the students into pairs um, and hand out the materials for this portion of the density activity, you get your test tube and you demonstrate the activity first before the students try to perform it themselves. So first, you take the salt water, which should be dyed blue with food coloring, and fill your test tube about halfway with salt water, like so. And then be very careful when adding your alcohol to make sure that you tilt your test tube slightly so that the liquids layer properly. And then put in your alcohol drop by drop. And if you look carefully, you can observe that the two liquids layer because of the difference in densities. So after performing this experiment, ask the kids what they notice about the two liquids. They'll probably say that there's a line in between them, there's two very distinct layers, and you ask them why. So what the answer that you're looking for is that the, the densities of the two liquids are different and that the liquid at the bottom has a higher density causing it to sink to the bottom and the liquid at the top has a lower density causing it to layer at the top. You can tell the students that pure water has a density of about one gram per centimeter cubed and that salt water has a density of about 1.027 grams per centimeter cubed, which are numbers that you can write on the board. So now you move on to the polydensity bottle, bottle demonstration. This is a really cool um, demonstration in which you first shake the bottle and then tell the kids to observe what happens. Okay. Probably have to speed up this part. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so then you can move on to ask the kids what happened and why they think it happened. So an observation that they should make is that the two beads as well as the two different liquids in, that, in, the, bo in the bottle separated. Um, and as for why, they should um, make the connection that one of the liquids has a higher density than the other. The liquid on the bottom is actually salt water, while the liquid on the top is isopropyl alcohol, which has a lower density than the salt water. Um, the kids might also make the observation that even though the two beads separated initially, they came back and formed their two separate layers. So um, an observation that they should make is that the two bead colors, the white and the blue, also have two different densities. Since the white beads layer on top of the blue beads, the white beads have a slightly lower density. So next, you'll give the kids some background information on density. You can start off by asking them what they think density is. And the answer that you'll be looking for is that it's the amount of mass in a given volume. 
So on the board, you can write out the equation for density as well as these diagrams that can give a better visual representation of what density is. Um, an object that has a low density has a smaller amount of particles or mass per this given volume, while an item with a higher density has a higher amount of particles within the same given volume. So for the next part of the lesson, you'll pass out these two vials, each containing a bead and a liquid to each pair. Ask the students to observe what is happening in each vial. They should see that in vial one, the bead is floating at the top of the liquid, while in vial two, the bead has sunk to the bottom. Ask them why they think this is happening, since the bead in both vials is clearly the same. After doing the first parts of the experiment, they should um, realize that the liquid in vial one is more dense than the liquid in vial two, causing the bead to float in the more dense liquid and sink in the less dense liquid. So you can tell the students that the um, liquid in vial one is actually salt water and the liquid in vial two is fresh water. So after telling the students this, ask them if they think whether salt water is more dense or less dense than the bead. And the answer should be more dense because the bead is floating on top. As for the fresh water, they should say that the liquid is less dense because the bead has sunk to the bottom. So the next part of the lesson that we're starting is the separation challenge. Tell the students that we can gradually change the density of water by adding salt to it. If they look at their handouts, they can see that the density of salt water gradually and linearly increases with the number of spoons of salt you add. So ask the students what they think will happen as we gradually add salt to this jar with the floating beads and the not floating beads. So the answer should be that some of the beads will gradually start floating as the density of water increases, since the density of the beads compared to the water will change as well. So you can start by passing out the jars with the beads already filled with water out to the students. Um, tell them to predict which beads will start floating when you start adding salt. And if some of the beads are initially floating that aren't the clear beads, tell the students to tap them slightly just to break this, any surface tension that might exist and cause them to float. So all of these beads have different densities depending on the color and these should be on the observation sheet that the students received. So ask them to predict what order they think they will float in. So initially, only the clear beads should be floating. Tell the students to record this on their observation sheet. Fill the spoon with salt and use the popsicle stick to level out any salt at the top of the spoon just so we get a consistent amount every time. Add the salt to the jar and stir until it is dissolved with a coffee stirrer. Tell the students to record if any new beads start flowing, floating at the top after each spoonful of salt is added. So tell them to repeat this process with 10 more spoonfuls of salt. After performing the experiment, ask, their, ask the students if their predictions are correct. So the clear beads floated initially because their density is less than one. Then the blue beads should have started floating after that and then the yellow beads in order of their density. Um, if they take a look at their handouts, there should be a table on recyclable plastic densities, which they could use to maybe match up the densities of the beads that were used. So in review, you can ask the class these two questions. Why is salt water more dense than fresh water? The answer that you're looking for is that salt water has more mass than fresh water. You can also ask that if a solid floats on fresh water, is it um, more dense or less dense? Than fresh water? And the answer is less dense. If it sinks on the water, then it is more dense than the water.